Gil is and isn't important in Final Fantasy XIV. If you raid, pots and food can add up quickly, and they're a must for any hardcore raider. Teleports, repairs, glams, etc. It all adds up, and I'm sure you're watching this because you have a need for more Gil. I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke! Whatever that is, I can help. A bit about my background. Believe it or not, I am a double master. Yo! I have a master's degree in business administration and healthcare administration. I've obtained max skill on my character, which is 999,999,999 gil, and I have over 10,000 hours of Final Fantasy XIV gameplay. Does this mean I know more than anyone else? No, but it does show I have a passion for topics like these, and I hope that translates into useful information and content for you. As discussed in my other video, How I Got Max Gill, there are other ways of making Gill, but today let's focus on the marker board and crafting. The methodology I'll be showing you today can be used at any point of any expansion and be successful. I could typically make between 1 and 4 million Gill a day depending on how much time I invest into it. There are some requirements. If you don't already, you need to max your crafters and gatherers. This guide won't go over how to do that, and if you are lost, let me know and I will create a guide for that as well. The good news is you won't need to have max gear typically for this, and most of the time you can get away with non-max craft or gather, but just max it, trust me. All the requirements work together. You also need to have max retainers and the max level retainers. You can try with less, but the less retainers, the less gill you can make. If you aren't in a rush, this is fine. But it's crippling to have less than the max number of retainers, as they simply determine how big your store is. You know, for example, Amazon wouldn't want a limit on how many items they can list on their website, just as you wouldn't want a max on how many items you can list on your store. The market board in Final Fantasy XIV is a decent system, and it works like this. You place an item on the market board through your retainer. Each retainer has a max of 20 items he can sell for you at once. Players wanting to purchase items go to the market board and purchase items held by your retainers, and typically they always buy the lowest priced item. We compete by undercutting our competition by one gill because it essentially moves you to the top of the list at the cost of only one gill. Items by default are listed from lowest to highest price. Here comes the part where we don't need trends, patches, or anything else to make money. Our strategy is built around the basic premise of supply and demand. Let's run through a couple of examples of how we determine what to sell. Let's take chess pieces for example. Click on the armor chess piece symbol and then look at the top right. Ensure when searching the armor piece that it's set to all. By default, it'll pick up the job you're on. There is a sort button. This is where the magic happens. Ignore all else and sort by quantity. Demand is a dumb system not even worth explaining. Just remember quantity. Now let's scroll down till we start to see ones and zeros. We can clearly see people aren't selling many of these items at the moment. Let's click the item and take a look now at the history. As you can see, the item sells often and for a decent price. We can always jack up the price a bit since there is no competition. People are lazy and don't mind paying an extra 10 or 20,000 gil just to save a few minutes. So before we move on, let's examine the criteria to select an item worthy of our time. Number one, it has to have a low inventory amount. Number two, it has to sell often, ideally at least daily. Number three, it has to be a non-complex item, no ornates or anything that would require rare items. Number four, it has to sell for a decent amount of gil, and I'll leave that up to your judgment. If you follow those four rules, you are more or less analyzing the market board for the most profitable items. Congratulations. So let's say this item passes criteria and we want to make it. We will now look up the required mats, purchase them, craft, and then sell on our retainer. Do not make too many items. If there are zero items and it sells often, maybe make a max of three. You don't want to have too many items sitting on your retainers for too long. It's just simply clogging up your storefront. If there's already one or two items for sale, and you're selling with some competition in place, maybe only make one or two. That's it! Repeat this process until your retainers are full. It will take a while to fill them, but not everything will sell, so when you log in next time, refill your storefront and keep it filled. Retainers are important as they help you gather. I want to touch on this topic a bit in detail as well. Time is the most valuable thing you have. If you can avoid gathering something yourself, do so at all costs. I only gather items myself if the market board itself is too expensive or they are sold out. Purchasing materials to craft is way more profitable in the long run. Trust me on this. Having your retainers gather for you adds up and will save you gill and time. Make sure to always have them gathering. My retainers are more or less full of items, all the way from level 1 to level 90 items. It helps having materials already on hand and again saves money. And my retainers did most all of this work over time. 
You can make much bigger profits during patches, etc. if you are lucky enough to race online, get on fast enough, and make some of the first new crafted raid tier items. Everyone has crafters nowadays, and this just isn't as good as it used to be. In my opinion, I would not focus on the Black Friday of Final Fantasy XIV and instead keep a steady storefront and work at your own pace. Always undercut by a penny unless you're attempting to tank the market. Tanking the market is a strategy I will do if someone has invaded an item I perhaps got greedy on and crafted five of. I am stuck with this inventory and I need it to sell. Not being able to sell five other items instead is costing me. This is referred to as an opportunity cost. So I will intentionally sell the item even at a loss just to clear the item out, and if I'm feeling spicy, I will continue to ensure the undercutting competition will never see a sale, and clog him up instead. Understand, some of these scumbags are using undercut bots. You can't really win against them. And you can tell because they will immediately undercut you at any hour of the day. Your best bet is to report or just move on. A huge part of making Gil fast is to ensure you are checking your retainers often. If you, for example, adjust prices at least three times a day, you will probably make five times as much gil than if you only did it once a day. This may be a lot for some people, but you get what you put in. I wanted to wrap up by recapping on a few important points. Making gil takes time. Analyzing the supply and demand is key. Adjusting prices and keeping retainers full will massively impact your income. This is just one part of becoming wealthy in Final Fantasy XIV, but this method is tried and true. If you yourself have any tips or suggestions, please feel free to share them in the comments. If you would like a guide on other specifics, feel free to let me know. I have quite a bit of time with the game and can help with almost anything. Thanks for checking out my Market Board 101 guide. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so, and I'll see you next time.